time for a day off school. Got the stink stench, Curly? Cheek! Essence of cabbage, cauliflower, bees' nappies, rotten fish and ben juice. <laughs> Let's wear this on ourselves and nobody will want us in their classroom. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Dennis! Oops. Oh. Finish cleaning Mr. Detester's car. I even cleaned the inside. The inside? Oh. 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 What's going on, Curly? Let's take a kid to work day. I'm going to a games factory. Avatar analyst. And I'm going to the mayor's office for the day. The mayor's office? You want to be mayor? Not me, Paul. He wants to go into politics. He'll be president one day, and I'll be his official pie taster. Headmaster's assistant, yes! <laughs> A whole extra day in school. <laughs> Beano Town Police Department? Me? Daddy! Jet pilot. Sorry, Angel Face, but uh, uh, mm, under the circumstances, we thought you might suit something a little more outdoors. Uh, how about postal officer? What? Good morning, Mr. Postman Girl. Lovely day, isn't it? it. What is that smell? <sighs> What's wrong with you? Oh, just a deadly Amazonian virus. I couldn't possibly go to work. Cough. Ah, ah, oh, disgusting. <clears throat> All better. Enjoy your day. Aha, they've nabbed the little blighter at last. Ben, this calls for a celebration. I'll get the ginger nut biscuits. Sergeant Tinkle, you get the fizzy pop. <laughs> Trouble in Beano Town. A trouble free day is a good day for a police officer, Dennis. This is so boring. Right, Nasha? <laughs> what? Huh? What? No, oh, Dennis, no. There's no dogs allowed here. But Nasha's my police dog, Sergeant. Nasha, Nasha! Calling Sergeant Slipper. We have a situation in Beano Town Park. Roger, on my way. My name's not Roger. Out. Okay, not Roger, out. We're on our ways. Yes! Start the siren! Woohoo! Lesson one. We don't use the noise light unless it's an emergency. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait for me. Where's my badge? Constable Menace and Police Dog Nasha. Nasha! What's the situation? Sorry, take a kid to work day. I got Dennis. <laughs> work! Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, you strange hooded figure, put your hands up! <laughs> it's just a garden gnome. It's not even stuck on properly. Amateur. <laughs> Hold on, this is Mum's gnome. How'd it get here? Hmm. Because you put it here, most likely. Right. Let me just get my pencil out and my pad. OK, where were you in the early hours of the morning, Dennis? No, oh, hang on. No, this wasn't me. I've used my own special formula menace glue. Hmm. It's clear we're dealing with a master prankster. What? It's just gnoming. Gnoming? Yeah, taking gnomes and putting them in funny places. I was doing that before I could walk. Uh... Hey! I always put them back. Urgent call from the mayor's office. Report of a gnome theft. Oh. On our way! Hey! I was going to say that. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mayor, sir. Mayor. That gnome is a scrimp family heirloom. I must get him back. <laughs> hey, pie face. How's the job going? <laughs> oh, it's a lot of work, but... I'm getting through it. Here he is. Oh, that's just Paul. Hey, that's enough of your naughty tricks, mister. No way for a president to behave. Huh? Slipper, why haven't you arrested anyone yet? I have a suspect under surveillance right now. Huh? That's not good 
enough, Slipper. What you need is someone who can get into the mind of a master prankster, who, who can anticipate their every move and keep us one step ahead so that we can catch him. Yes, but who? Who, I say? Whom? Huh? Huh. Huh. Oh, right. I'll need my crack team. But Mayor Scrimp, Dennis can't be trusted. He and his friends are probably responsible. Exactly! And if he didn't do it, he better find out who did. And if he doesn't find out who did it, then he'll get the blame for doing it. <laughs> Nash! Calling all units! Calling all units! Come in! Reports of gnomes all over Beano Town. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, Dennis, stop stealing my lines. Hey, are you crossing or not? <laughs> Come in, number 50, Billy. Your time is up. Ah, Walter, why don't I show you how to use the PA system? No, oh, gnomes, we're being attacked. <laughs> okay, Sergeant, let's take a look at the evidence. Right. We've sent soil samples to the lab to trace where the gnomes have come from. It'll take up to three weeks. Nah, we've got our own lab. The Abyssinian Tripound Lab. Do these gnomes match all the missing gnome reports, Curly? Well, it appears so. Dennis's house, Mayor Scrimp. <laughs> oh. Mrs. Miggins, Mrs. Creature, Auntie Beryl. Can you verify that police dog, Nasher? <laughs> Nasher! The whole town's been gnomed. Everyone except the Colonel. But he's got the largest collection of garden gnomes in town. Exactly. Time to pay him a little visit. Yes, I heard the reports on my electric radio. So I ordered my men into the bunker until reinforcements arrived. Seen anyone suspicious lurking around, Colonel? Well, only that hoodlum next door. Wait, that's you. Sergeant, arrest this blatherskite. Ah, oh, sorry, Colonel. The blatherskite's with me. Special constable. So, Colonel, we're going to need two of your most able gnomes. Official police business. Oh, right, yes, of course. Ha! 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 Corporal Tinkle and Lieutenant Sprout reporting for duty. Do me proud. We've got a tracking device on this gnome. <coughs> and Nasha will be able to follow this one. Nasha! Time for Operation Oh Gnome You Don't! Right, everyone, the bait is planted. Stay quiet and still, and the gnome napper will walk straight into our trap. <laughs> Who's the bangers in here? Ah, what are you doing, Colonel? We're on surveillance. Hmm. A medal for supplying rations to a covert operation. <sighs> the gnomes are on the move. <gasps> They've gone to the wheels. Where to, Curly? They're turning left near Mrs. Megan's house. We're about to go fast. Buckle up. And now we saw the road like ground eagles. Follow those gnomes! <laughs> Second gear. Third gear. We're cooking. Oh, uh, is there a cereal bar in the back? It stopped right here. Where are the gnomes? Well, there's Sprout. Well, where's Tinkle? Oh, Pooh, what's that smell? It's like cabbage, cauliflower... These nappies? Rotten fish. And bin juice. <gasps> Angel face! <laughs> well, if it isn't Constable Menace. It was you! Pretty impressive prank, Angel Face. But you're no match for a genius in a striped jumper. You're right, Dennis. You are the master prankster, not me. Ah, uh, Angel Face? You? It can't be! That's right, Sergeant. I did it. I'm flabbergasted. Uh, yes, right then. But it wasn't my fault. It was Dennis. He made me do it. Dennis! Right. Come with me. Nash? I knew it was you all along. I've got a nose for these things, you know. Well, you and your nose are going to have to catch me first. Oh, Dennis! Day. Stop!
frog. Plastic or rubber? Plastic. Oh, yes! Go, Team Menace! <laughs> Three large pepperonis, please. Deep filled, extra everything. <laughs> Pizza's off. Huh? Walter? Where's good old Brenda? Oh, good old Brenda will be absent for a few days. As a consequence, the headmaster has afforded me the opportunity to elevate nutritional standards at our beloved school. Huh? Pizza's off. Two bits of lettuce and a broad bean. I don't even like broad beans. Who does, Curly? Another pie crumb, anyone? Look at us. Scavenging in school bags for scraps. Oh, breadstick. Oh, oh, pencil. Kids like us need real food. And if we got to make with some serious menacing to get it, that's an added bonus. So there I was, helping the family of hedgehogs across the autobahn. But with my nutritionally balanced menu, pupils will benefit from an immediate improvement. Do your worst, B. along with a 9% reduction in their tendency to be irritating, smelly little oiks. Nine <laughs> percent? You are clever, Walter. <laughs> Come, sir, observe. <laughs> He threw up in my chef's hat, then he fired me. And goodness knows who will get to do tomorrow's school lunch. Hello, sir. My Auntie Beryl does catering. Nutritious, delicious dinners? Yeah, why not give her a call? Bye! Hello? Yes, this is Auntie Beryl's catering service. <laughs> Let's go serve up some fun. Lovely! Who's for pizza? <laughs> We're running out of mash. Hmm. Sir, sir, those dinner ladies, they're imposters. It's Dennis. What? Don't be so silly, Walter. It's his Auntie Beryl. But, sir, look. <coughs> Ooh. 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 One of them is a dog. Oh, Walter. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Um... Nasha, Nasha, Nash? Ah, yes. Uh, Mrs. Um, Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Walter, lots of elderly ladies grow a few whiskers. Don't be so rude. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh seriously, I thought Walter's head was going to explode. Uh, hi, Auntie Beryl's catering here. Tomorrow's order is six bags of potatoes. Oh, gee, hear that ball? A family reunion. 40 packs of fish fingers, 50 large pies. 150 very large. Make that 150 very large pies. And 227 sausages. Nash. Sorry, 228. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Beryl's catering again. I'd like to change tomorrow's lunch order. What? There's been a mistake. No mistake, doll. Two tons of ice cream in one unfeasibly giant scoop. Ta-da! 
<laughs> Excellent. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Auntie Beryl, I've just had today's lunch order. Two tons of ice cream. Ice cream? No, 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 no ice cream here. Not a single scoop. I'm coming right over. And what's all this about? <gasps> Half a ton of live lobsters? My face. Diversion, if you please. Hello. Have you met Paul the potato? He's having his nap. <laughs> Get off me! There, Dennis, please tell me we are not selling cans of raspberry rocket! <laughs> Stuff's full of sugar! Kids go hyper! Good hyper or bad hyper? Disaster hyper! Um, everyone, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances drink this! <laughs> Get rid of this stuff! OK, see ya! Curly, I didn't order any of those things! OK, I'm back! You get rid of it? Yeah! Where? Oh, I dumped it in that big bin with a picture of a lobster on it! Cool! Now, you what? Sorry to trouble you again, Auntie Beryl, but uh, the school food inspector has turned up. Uh, he wants to, um... What is it you want to do again? Inspect the school food, obviously. Everything is all right, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> Curly, Nasha, you've got to delay this inspector guy! <laughs> OK. All we got to do is calm everyone down and get rid of an army of hyper lobsters. Can't be that hard. <laughs> Listen up, you lot! Everybody got to chill right now or else! <laughs> well, she's not our usual dinner lady, but... <laughs> Herbal tea. Brilliant, eh? Now... We just need to... Sorry. All gone. And then there's Mrs. Nasher, Nasher, Nash. Lovely lady, but don't mention the beer. <laughs> Golly, hello, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Plan D and G it is. Just change suck to blow. This ought to cool everyone down. Water? Disguise? Rubbish. Timing? Perfect. Walter! I can explain! Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Two lettuce leaves and a broad bean. Next! Great to have you back, Brenda.
Volta, Angel Face, my office. Now! Sport is about working together, pulling as one team. Tying up Mrs. Creature is not a sport, Dennis. Next week is the annual triathlon against Grey Towers Prep. Our school hasn't won that in 20 years. Ah, but this year we will. Because you three will represent Beano Town School in this year's competition. <laughs> what? Us? Team up? With these losers? Now, now, I want you to prove that you can pull together for the school and make me very proud. Choose a captain and get training. Team Beano Town. You three are the triathlon team. <laughs> I know, Curly, I know. But maybe with a strong captain, someone with talent, charisma, someone like... Me! There's only one way to settle this. A pie face-off. Yeah. <laughs> Get the pie will be captain. Get ready, get set, get pie. <laughs> be prepared to follow my lead, loser. <laughs> Operation Dash Landing! Dash! Dash! <laughs> yes, I'm the captain of Team Beano Town! Woohoo! And I'm the captain of Grey Tars. Hey, look, Jules, look, Gemma, our competition. We usually jog up and down Mike Beano to train. I don't think we need to bother. Not now we've seen you, smelly little oiks. Hey, Walter may be smelly, but he's no oik. That's right! But no, uh huh? Oh, looks like the triathlon trophy is ours. Again. Later, losers. Losers. Oh, how very dare they, smelly oiks indeed. I've never been so insulted. And I thought you were pompous. Nobody calls me a loser and gets away with it. Right, we're going to swim harder, run faster, and ride better than ever before in the history of the triathlon. Who's with me? <sighs> I don't know. Ooh, sounds sweaty. Come on, we can't let them beat us. We're Team Beano Town. <laughs> oh. Walter, you leave me no choice. I'm sending for special ops. <gasps> The games begin! <laughs> Just imagine you've got itching powder in your swimming trunks. What? Oh, as if I would. Walter and Gemma, on your mark. Get set. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Gemma. First round to Grey Towers. <laughs> nice swim, Gemma. One nil to you. It's Jules, actually. 
Oh, hang on. You... Round two. BMX trial. Good luck, all. Beat that, Beano Town loser. I can beat you with my eyes closed. Time for my legendary triple swing back. <laughs> Triple Dennis, what happened? Uh, the twins used a magnet to mess with my bike. That's not all. Gemma didn't finish the swimming. That slimy Jules did it for her. Yes. Oh, okay, team, we've got to win the final race. Who's with me? <laughs> Game on! <laughs> Don't open this till I tell you. I'm on to you, cheat. <laughs> I can't go on. Open the envelope now. Come on, Angel Face. Come on, Angel Face. Walter needs you. <laughs> Walter, try and remember that what I'm about to do is for the sake of the team. After him, Nasha! Out of breath already. <laughs> me and Nasha. Rupert's cycling the track, not running it. But we're going to stop their cheating forever. Listen closely. <laughs> what? Go back the way I just came? <laughs> 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 Hang on, everybody. Grey Towers are cheats. Rupert was riding his bike until Nasha Nash the tires. That's a serious allegation. Do you have proof? Yes, we do. Nasha? <laughs> that's the snorkel Jules, not Gemma, used to win the swimming. And that's the magnet they used to make my BMX crash. <laughs> do, do, do let him nash me again. <laughs> I'll tell the truth. We did cheat. <laughs> right, well, in that case, Grey Towers is disqualified. This year's triathlon winners are Team Beano Town. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hang on, if the competition's over. <laughs> oh, give me that! I'm the team captain! <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> Everything ready, Curly? All systems go, Dennis. History's in the menace making. Hear that, Paul? You're about to be the first potato on the moon. Ready for liftoff, Nasha? Three, two. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> A potato? The moon? What on earth were you thinking? An astrospud. I know. 
Genius! Oh, I'm going to be doing overtime on my overtime to pay this damages bill. Oh, perhaps you can help Paul write his best-selling Astro Spud autobiography. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, Pie Face. The Spud Space Program's gonna have to wait. Right now, we need a fundraising scheme to help Dad pay the bill. Oh, what about a pie stand? Yeah, last time we had a pie stand, you ate all the pies. Oh, yeah. A dog grooming service? No chance. They'd all want to look like Nasher, and he's a one-off. <laughs> huh? What's he up to? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a car wash. Look, Walter can pull in two cars with a five-star car wash, so if we have five... Thousand stars, we'll pull in uh, <laughs> two million cars. Are there two million cars in Beano Town? <laughs> <laughs> no time for counting, Curly. We've a menace car wash to set up. And five thousand. <laughs> Don't worry, Dennis. We'll just wait for the next dirty car. Oh, there must be more than two dirty cars in Beano Town. <laughs> oh, it's just hit me. If you want to mess up cars, you can't beat a bird. That's right. Birds are born to mess up cars. Oh. So, we catch and train 5,000 birds. Or, faster, we just menace one up. Feathers away, Nasha. Nash, Nash. <laughs> it's like I'm watching a nature program. This pie face is the Menace 2000 Car Messer Up a Bird Bot. Oh, catchy. All we need now is ammo. Two buckets of mud, one bucket of cold baked beans, another bucket of mud, one bucket of sour cream, past best before date, another bucket of mud, 16 jars of horseradish in a bucket, two buckets of soggy porridge, 3,800 mils raspberry rocket drink, and mix thoroughly. <laughs> Come on, let's see how Curly's getting on with the GPS. Ooh. I've hooked up a GPS so it now has the ability of satellite guidance. And finalised the upgrade with state-of-the-art target recognition software. You're good to go, Dennis. <laughs> Curly, time to rustle up some business. Oh, no. Precedes you, Dennis. Oh, he's right. They think we'll make their cars dirtier. Uh, technically, we have made their cars dirtier. Yes, but Walter's getting all the business. We earned that business, and we're going to get it back. First class job, team. <laughs> I think you'll find this vehicle still dirty. <laughs> Up for Beano Town's fastest car wash. <laughs> Lower fee and poop free. Huh? Uh, there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Be 
recommending your car wash to all of our friends. <laughs> Mayor Scrimp has friends. Mm-hmm. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> right, my avian adversary. This means war. To be uh oh. Porridge, baked beans, and is that raspberry rocket drink? Either the local birds have radically altered their diet, or I smell a Dennis scam. Colonel, stop! That's a rare and endangered wooden beaked warbler. Uh, who? Uh, who? <gasps> wooden beaked warbler? Over 60 years as Beano Town's number one bird watcher, and I've never heard of it. It must be rare. Pardon me, Colonel, but I do hope you're planning to take that menace right out of the sky. Don't be so absurd. Of course not. That's a wooden beaked warbler, don't you know? A what? Exactly. I hadn't seen one before either. It's incredibly rare. Oh, no. I can't shoot it down. It could well be the last of its kind. Mm-hmm. I have to capture it. Ah! Uh, say, my boy, how would you like to be part of the ornithological coup of the century? Get it? Coup? No, it's a bird thing. Charlie, give me the controller. We're about to be rumbled. Uh, here. If my calculations are correct, this net will fly out, open up mid-flight, and capture the bird. Fire in the hole! Oh, my calculations may have been a bit off. Oh, dear. I hope it wasn't the last of its kind. Uh oh! What do you mean? Uh oh! The target recognition system just went bonkers. It now thinks people are targets. Uh oh! <laughs> Dennis, when you asked for a swoop and poop with rapid fire, you didn't ask for an off button. Ash, Ash! <laughs> okay, everybody, try to look like a car. <laughs> what is going on, Dennis? <laughs> Can't talk. Oh, but this should cover the Astro Spud bill. Yeah. And the dry cleaning. <laughs> Walter, act like a vehicle. Don't be ridiculous. I am not going to act like a vehicle. This nonsense ends now. <laughs> For your Paul. Potato in the hole! <laughs> Him! Private Potato. For bravery under fire, being fired, and being on fire. Him! And Dennis! for your contribution to the preservation of an endangered species. You mean the wooden beak warbler? No, I mean Walter. Mm. Ha. Now, can somebody get my vehicle clean? No. <laughs> Chilly, miss. The secret's my extra hot peppers. Stay. 
and back spoon lickers. I need all these for my pasta salad. Hello, Walter. Oh, Paul! Oh, you nearly peeled him! Presentation is the key to... Tossed salad? You are both banned from food tech and I am sending letters to your parents. A letter to my parents? It's an outrage. I'll go to the headmaster, to the school board, to the prime minister. You'll go to detention if you don't stop making a fuss. <laughs> Mom, letter for you from school. Oh, put it with the others. <laughs> What's that, Walter? Did you win another prize? No, Father. This letter marks the darkest hour in my thus far illustrious school career. Walter has been banned from food tech due to his misbehaviour. Misbehaviour? Impossible! I'll go to Mr Detester, to the school board, to the Prime Minister! That's what I said, but I was threatened with detention. Even though it was all Dennis's fault. Hmm. Then let's invite Dennis and his parents for dinner so we can talk about this. What? Bring a menace into our domestic paradise? And while they're here, we can make Dennis admit that he's guilty and that Walter is innocent. <laughs> <laughs> dinner at Walter's house? But it'll be boring and no fun. And did I mention boring? Just get ready while I deal with your father. Dinner at Walter's house, but it'll be boring. Whoopee cushion, pea shooter, itching powder, dribble glass, green soap. Maybe this will be fun after all. Nash, 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 nash! together and getting on. Which brings us to why we asked you here tonight. We wanted to clear the air after that spot of trouble in food tech. Oh, well, you know what boys are like. I know what Dennis is like, but Walter would never cause trouble. I mean, look at all his awards. <laughs> And this one's for his Grade 5 performance on the Norwegian nose flute. Dennis has certificates too. Well, letters from the police, anyway. Dribble glasses, go! <laughs> well, Walter never causes trouble. Well, that doesn't mean Dennis made the mess in food tech. <laughs> oh, honestly, Dennis? It's a good job I bought one of B's bottles. <laughs> Cool. You got any games? I don't have games. I only use the computer for homework. Time for some extra hard sums, I think. Time for some good old itching powder, I think. <laughs> <laughs> We 
I just want Dennis to admit it was his fault. I've drafted a confession for, I, I mean, a statement for him to sign. We're not signing anything. Aha! Uh -huh. I see where he gets it from. No discipline. That's why your boy's a menace. Well, your boy has no fun. That's why he's a telltale. Look at all the pranks Dennis was planning. See? <laughs> Dennis is clearly the troublemaker. Now, about that confession. No. I'll prove Dennis can behave. But do you have the guts to misbehave? Well, why would he want to do that? Dennis will behave during dinner. I will. There's an afternoon at Beano Town Fair in it for you. I will, but I dare you to pull a prank <gasps> and not get caught. Don't be absurd. I'm not doing that. I'll do it too, and loser takes the blame for what happened in food tech. But unless you're chicken... Here we go. <laughs> All you have to do is put a pair of sunglasses on one of the Colonel's garden gnomes. I'll go first. I don't get it. What's the point? <sighs> if you have to ask, you'll never understand. Loose flagstone, three steps from the door. Quickest escape is over the hedge. Watch out for the garden hose. Man. Oh, um, uh, good evening, the Colonel. I was just uh, admiring your roses. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen it. He got caught. We win. No, that was only half the bet. Dennis still has to behave all the way through dinner. We're about to eat, Cyril. The boys should wash their hands. But I don't want to wash my hands. Remember, being all town fair. Fine, I'll wash my hands. Green soap. They're trying to frame me. Ah, look, look. Trick soap. Dennis is pulling a prank. You lose. No, no. Uh, that's not a prank. That's a, a special seaweed skincare soap. Right, Dennis? <laughs> Quite an improvement. <gasps> my pea shooter. My whoopee cushion. My itchy powder. Remember, no tricks, pranks, or menacing of any kind. <gasps> Must resist pranks. Enjoy the food. It's organic. Peas dinners. Well, this is nice. And maybe I was wrong. Dennis is behaving. Yes, you should all come here again next week. And the week after that. And after that. And after that. And after that. Yeah! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Dennis! And for my grand finale! Ha-ha! You lose! He used the pea shooter, the itching powder, and the whoopee cushion. That wasn't the whoopee cushion. It was organic. <laughs> all in all, not a bad evening. Although I reckon I'm still in big trouble about food tech. And I'm in big trouble at home. You can forget about an afternoon at being old town fair. Too right. We're taking you there for the whole day. What? Oh, I couldn't stand another minute of Walter and his family showing off. And if it wasn't for your menacing, we'd still be over there. Well, Mum, genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> Stop? Yes, you. No pranking 
in school. Drop the cake tin, Menace. Yow! Sorry, miss. And no snacks in school either. <laughs> How does the tester keep doing that? Uh, with that? Contraband, Mr. Detester. Confiscation completed. Isn't it marvelous? The Confiscatinator 5000 Maximum Security State of the Art Confiscation System. CCTV wired straight into my office, and nothing or no one gets in or out without the password. Soon there'll be no pranks, no snacks, no toys, no anything. They'll all be locked away. That confiscatinator holds every pea shooter, every stink bomb, every pie. We ever lost. We have to crack it. Ah, forget it, Dennis. That staff room is always full of teachers. There's no way. There's always a way, Curly. <laughs> Sister B can clear any room. Yeah, but the tester has eyes everywhere. No ball games in school. Hmm. We need someone to distract him. Someone no one would ever suspect. Oh, oh, uh, William Shakespeare? said I have to do this exercise because of my basketball elbow. Oh, right. Carry on. Oh, someone who's Mr Detester's daughter. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. together to crack the confiscatinator. You in? What's in it for me? A share of the loot. I want half. I'll give you 50% and no more. Deal. Calling up the confiscatinator schematics. Hmm. I can decode the password, but the override switch is protected by a network of lasers. Hmm. Someone has to get through without tripping the alarm. Someone brave. <laughs> Someone with great agility. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else. Ow, I think I broke my bum. <laughs> wow, he's really good. But how are we going to get a teacher's pet like Walter to join us? Rehearsal, Walter. The recital's going to be a triumph. Oh, it's nothing. Just a testament to my talent, artistry and genius. I've also composed a new piece for the street dance ballet mashup. <laughs> <laughs> what are you cacophonous cretins doing here? Ah, uh, didn't make us practice. <laughs> To the confiscatinator. But, but I need it for my recital. You should have thought of that before you decided to use my bottom for target practice. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a plan to get back everything that was taken from us. The confiscatinator is here, the staff room is here, and the tester's office is here. Well, I can't see anything like this. This tree house is for Menace's eyes only. But what about Angel Face? Oh, I can't wear blindfolds because of my delicate eyes. Exactly. Now, as I was saying, the confis... Hey, who's eating the confiscatinator? Oh, oh, sorry. <sighs> Never mind. Let's go to work. <laughs>
running. Girl with a shirt, no chewing. Boy pulling funny faces, no pulling funny faces. Hmm. I hope that wasn't his actual face. Daddy, I need help with my homework. No problem, Angel Face. What is it? Hard sums or a spelling test? Making a meticulously accurate scale model of a four-masted 16th century galleon entirely out of toothpicks. Really? Oh, oh, oh. Are you sure? Doing by the end of lunchtime. Right. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, um, well, well, we'll start with the cannon deck, shall we? with these pies oh. filled with sausages. Yes. Ah. Ah. to carve the figurehead. <sighs> we better work fast. At least the CCTV's still covered. Where was that alarm coming from? Oh, that was me. Um, making a foghorn noise for the ship. Aww. A foghorn? On a 16th century galleon? The Confiscatorator! No! Wait! You haven't finished the poop deck! Oh! Mm. Ah, oh, the CCTV camera! It's okay. Nasher and Pie Face are guarding the corridor. <laughs> what are you doing here? My dad's on the loose! <laughs> we have to warn Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> Wires improving. <gasps> the Nash signal! Let's get out of here! Aha. Hello, Father. I may need a lawyer. Caught you red-handed. No, no, our hands are normal flesh-coloured. We we just fought off a, a gang of... Um... Uh, international prank and toy thieves. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Uh, prank and toy thieves, who were just here a minute ago, but they escaped. Through the window, using jetpacks. <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, we'd better get back to class. Not so fast. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. But first, I'll bring the system back online. Intruder detected! Ooh. Hey! Let me out! Good work, team. Hey, my bow! Sorry, Walter. Angel Face gets 50% of everything. What about Detester? We'll let him out. Once he's had time to calm down. Oh, I passed something through the air vent to keep him busy till the locksmith gets here. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll let me out in the morning. Let's get on with that ship. Hey, watch the porthole. <laughs> 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 